What's good YouTube? It's your girl Kid and I'm back with another video. Today's video is all about four special badges in NBA 2K21 that will keep you and your teammates on fire all throughout the game. So let's get right into it. So in each badge category, there is a badge that will give you a boost to your takeover meter. Now how cool is that? To start us off, we have the special delivery badge. Now this badge right here is insane. And I'm going to show you exactly why. what the do you guys see what I see first shot of the game and we have team takeover what how well let me tell you the special delivery badge gives a takeover boost to both the passer and the person scoring the ball to activate special delivery you have to throw a flashy pass now if we run this clip back again as you can see the big man has special delivery on hall of fame and he throws a mean flashy to the shooter and of course what does the shooter do kobe now this is why special delivery is one of the most overpowered badges in nba 2k21 because you can get your teammates hot within a matter of seconds like literally, imagine what the other team is thinking. First quarter, first shot, then bam. Whole team's on fire. They are frazzled. They have no idea what to do. They're already frightened. They're terrified. The crazy part about this is that it's not even a glitch. It's literally in the game. It's literally a part of the game. 2K did this on purpose. These badges give you special takeover abilities. And it's like it's nothing that you can do about it. So many people abuse this method. It is insane. As you can see, they're just going to start it over again. Once your team takeover runs out, bam. You can just do it all over again. You can literally have team takeover in a rec game majority of the time. That's how overpowered this is. Now the special delivery badge also activates the ability for you to throw bounce pass lobs and off the backboard lob passes. So that's some cool stuff that you could do as well. Okay, so here's a better example on how much your takeover bar actually moves once you have these badges activated. My player also has on the hot shot badge and my friend Cody, which is the point guard, he has on special delivery on Hall of Fame. And as you can see, with one shot, one shot, we got team takeover in the park, just like that. So yes, combining all of these takeover boost badges will benefit you guys the most, okay? So like I said earlier, my player has on the hot shot badge. So let's talk about that badge now. That is the shooting badge, as you can see. After one shot, how much my takeover bar moved. And this is just with hot shot, no special delivery added. So this is just how much it moves by itself with every shot. And as you can see, it gives you so much of a boost. It makes it so much easier to get team takeover or double take or just regular takeover so fast in whatever game mode I'm playing because of this bad. Now the badges alone do give you pretty much a significant amount of boost to your takeover meter but as you can see in this clip right here once you stack the badges and stack the boost you can really see the difference now for all of you slashers out there rim runners or dunkers or whatever you want to call yourself there's a badge out there for you too and it's called the heat secret badge with the heat secret badge literally every single time you score a basket paint no matter if it's a dunk a layup or anything like that you will get a boost to your takeover meter so if you finish a lot around the rim that is the perfect badge for you to help you stay hot in the game
Now, for all the lockdowns out there, or if you are known to make the big boy plays on defense, the Hot Stopper Badge is the perfect badge for you. Whenever you make a big defensive stop, like get a steal or a block or something like that, you will get a great boost to your takeover meter. So those are pretty much the four badges right there. I highly recommend you guys trying these badges out on either Gold or Hall of Fame. Make sure you're using the right badge that fits your play style. Like, if you are the playmaker of the team, if you're the point guard and you're going to have the ball in your hands a lot and you have a lot of extra playmaking badges, try putting on special delivery on Hall of Fame or Gold. And hit your teammates with some flashy passes and see what happens. And to really capitalize on these badges, you know, you really got to find the right combination that works for you in your play style. Like for me, I score the ball a lot. I'm like the main scorer of our team, no matter if we're playing Rick or Park. So I use Hot Shot and Heat Seeker. I promise you, you cannot go wrong with using both of those badges at the same time on any of your players. Because literally, every single time you score, whether you shoot the ball or if you score in the paint, you're going to be getting a lot of boost towards your takeover meter, and that will lead you to get hot a lot faster. And if you are a lockdown defender and you get anywhere from 20 to 30 defensive badges, you might want to go ahead and put on that hot stopper badge because it'll help you get your lockdown takeover a lot faster every time you get a stop because... I swear that lock takeover it moves a little slow maybe it's just me but I know that badge will most definitely help you guys out the main key overall is finding what badges work for you and your play style what is gonna benefit you and your teammates the most like everything doesn't work for everybody these badges are still effective on silver and bronze, but you do get the most boost at Hall of Fame. So if you can put these badges on Hall of Fame, please put them on Hall of Fame. But that is pretty much it for today's video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Make sure you leave a like, comment down below, subscribe to the channel if you are new. And don't forget to hit that notifications bell. And please, if you're not doing this already, at the bottom of the screen, you see all of my social medias. Make sure you follow me on my Twitter, Instagram, and my Twitch, especially my Twitch, because I live stream on Twitch at it's kid underscore. If you want to kick it with me in the live streams, get to know me a little better, and I can get to know you, you want to make sure you're over there on the Twitch streams. Thank you all for watching.